I guess we can start at least with noticing that we both do have empathy for people that are looking for things about how the world works. If the world is quite chaotic as it is right now, there's so many social inputs and so many, you know, inputs in, in general that like I, I completely understand why somebody would want to have a, a more control or grasp over their understanding of the world. But I think the the issue just becomes that they start putting it on everyone else as well, that they, everyone else can solve their lives with it. And as you were alluding to, if you're looking at things that aren't real, the decisions that come from those inputs are not going to be good outputs. Is that accurate to say? That is that is pretty accurate. That is absolutely accurate. And I do I do have a lot of empathy for people who believe this because we're living in very uncertain times. And research, um, there's a, a really great lit review on astrology used recently, and it showed that pe- during uh, the pandemic, people's interest in astrology surged. And, you know, you have to think about the origins of astrology in a lot of these ways, these belief systems, because that's what they are. Um, They come up because people are trying to control the uncontrollable. People are trying to uh, know if the, if there's going to be enough rain to make the crops grow, you know, to know if there's going to be a huge hurricane coming, stuff like that. People, this is what our ancestors wanted out of these, this, these things to be able to understand and predict and control things that, that were um, not, that couldn't be sensed, you know, by the, by what we would call modern scientific methods. And so in times of turbulence, which we've definitely had the last few years, people are mm-hmm. turning to these to help understand their lives, to help understand themselves, to help them make these the vast numbers of choices that people in the Western world end up um, making at all times, whether that's consumer choices or how to just how to live their life. And um, people want more guidance and then they, they turn to to these uh, to both astrology because of its long cultural connections and also to personality tests, which help, uh, which are purport to help you understand yourself. Right. Yeah. Because it's, it seems like as more people, um, you know, millennials, Gen Z, Zoomers, etc., are moving a little bit more away from religion. It seems like they're finding more of these quote unquote spiritual practices or astrology or tarot cards, um, to really try to understand what they think. And I don't know, I, I, I wish there was something that within this, this idea of a religion or something that we follow, there could in there just be this concept of randomness and chaos that we just have to embrace as a species. Because it seems like all of these things like astrology and religion, they're kind of like coddling people in this concept that like, it's all going to be okay. There's a heaven afterwards. The stars Mm -hmm. are going to tell you what's going on. You can know exactly what you're going to be. And I'm sure that does, that does feel nice, but I don't know how you don't live your life being completely disappointed time after time after time again, looking, looking into these things. 